point four, the operations unit, um, and it's the process of identifying high level performance and comparing that to the actual result a company achieves in order to improve their outcome. So to just to break this down a bit, what we're doing with benchmarking is we're identifying what it is that the best companies or the best department within your company, or you could even do it within your class, who gets the best result, um, we identify what that high level performance is. You know, how much profit are they making? Uh, how many new products do they bring out every year? Uh, whatever metric it is that we're looking to measure, we try and find out what the best people within that industry or the best people within the company or the best departments within the company are doing. And then we compare our results um, to that. Okay, so if you know the best companies are making, say, a return on capital employed of 15%, then that we set that as our benchmark target. And if we achieve 12%, well, we're not too far off, but we've not actually um, hit the benchmark target. And the point in this is that we're trying to improve our own outcome. So we're going to want to um, investigate what it is that those high performance, those elite performers are doing, so that we can. Um, not necessarily copy, but we can have a look at what's working and see what would work for us to implement. So, uh, benchmarking involves identifying elite performance, so working out what it is that those high level performers are doing uh, and just identifying who they are really. Uh, we're then going to analyse the results that they achieve and the strategies that they, that they use to achieve them. So we look at the results that these elite performers are achieving and we think to ourselves, well, you know, what results have they got and, and what are the strategies that they've used to done this, to, to do this, and what can we learn from that? Um, we're then going to compare our actual results against the elite performance targets, um, and we can then uh, start to brainstorm ways to improve our results to get closer to those targets if we've not quite met them. Um, and obviously, from that brainstorming, we want to actually come up with new strategies that are going to improve our performance so we get closer to that elite performance level. So there are different types of benchmarking that we can do. Um, we can do uh, strategic benchmarking, which is looking you know, at all businesses. It doesn't matter if they're in our industry or not, but we are doing strategic benchmarking. We're looking at the long-term strategies that these organisations have used to lead to elite performance, you know, what sort of HR strategies are they using? Um, what what does their marketing look like? You know, these are things, it doesn't matter what industry we're in, we can um, compare that to what we're doing. So we're looking at the strategies of the best performing companies in the world. We may also do performance benchmarking, where we're identifying the specific results achieved by our competitors. So it's more useful to do performance benchmarking when we're looking at companies within the same industry as us, because you know companies in different industries will earn different profit margins, um, will uh, you know have different levels of sales, etc. So. Performance benchmarking, we would tend to look at our, our direct competitors, try and identify uh, the results that the best performing uh, competitors are achieving, and then compare our performance to that. Functional benchmarking can be looking at the uh, key strategies employed in successful departments. So again, that would probably be, um, you could do that across different organisations. You know, what's the finance department doing in uh, this particular organization where the finance departments run really well what are the marketing uh, strategies used in this business you know not necessarily in our industry uh, but we're looking at the functional performance of different industries then we could do internal benchmarking where we're looking um, at our own business and maybe we're looking at the best performing uh, branches within our own business or the best performing departments within our business, what are they doing, what uh, results are they achieving and how could we do that and I mean I remember in one of my schools the maths department got particularly good results so we would look at what could we learn from maths, how, what are they doing that we, that we weren't doing within uh, business and how could we learn from that. So um, the uh, pros of benchmarking are that it encourages investigation into elite performance. So, we're encouraged if we're benchmarking, we, we want to find out what the best results are, but then 
we want to go deeper than that and we want to investigate, well, what is actually behind that elite performance? You know, if there's somebody in your class who's consistently achieving uh, high results in tests, in essays, etc., you know, it'd be really useful for you to go and find out what they're actually doing. How are they studying? Uh, what techniques and methods are they using to make sure that they understand the material and then can achieve uh, these high results in, um, in class? It should raise aspirations, you know. If we find out what's possible, it should raise our aspirations and um, make us want to achieve that. It can be motivational. And it encourages critical thinking and self-reflection. We want to think about, okay, so what are we doing in comparison to what they're doing and how can we do it better? Um, all very useful uh, benefits of benchmarking. On the other hand, um, benchmarking does have some drawbacks. Number one, inter-industry comparisons may be unrealistic. In other words, when we're looking at industries that aren't our own, um, maybe it's not that useful actually to compare our performance to theirs because uh, we might not be able to, um, uh, you know, we're, we're doing different things. It might not be realistic to compare, say, we're a metals manufacturer. You know, how does that, how are we going to compare ourselves to an advertising agency? These are very different industries. Um, it may encourage copying rather than innovative thinking. So if we find out what the top companies are doing, we might we just end up copying that. It may not be a good or uh, that may not be a bad thing, but um, it might encourage copying rather than innovative thinking, which is what we want. And, and maybe copying someone else's strategy that works for them isn't necessarily going to work for us. Um, and finally, benchmarking can be very time consuming as well. We've got a lot of information to find out, a lot of data to collect. Um, and a lot of analysing of that data to do in order to um, uh, for the process to be effective.